Thanks, Alexis. Right now, families all across North Alabama are preparing for the heavy rain that's predicted to move in. People who live in flood prone areas are preparing for the worst. One of those areas is Calford Road in Athens, and that's where Way 31 Scotty e. K spent the day talking with neighbors about how they're going to deal with the flooding. Some neighbors here on Calford Road tell me when it rains, it feels like they're living on an island with this end of the road and the other end of the road flooding, sometimes leaving them trapped at home. When it rains, I have four or five inches of water in my yard. Tony Patrick has lived on Calford Road for nearly 50 years, and over those years, he says flooding has become something he's just had to get used to. A lot of mornings, we would have to get up and leave early, especially during the flood to figure out how we was going to go to work. And he's not the only one. This neighbor who didn't want to be identified says the flooding has become a huge headache. We have to detour about five or six miles out of the way to get home. And when the road's not flooded? You got to dodge and, you know, all those potholes down there, the water leave potholes. And they got a bunch of leaning trees that need to be cut. Neighbors say the flooding makes them worry about the safety of drivers on their road. A little girl was coming down the road one day when it rained and she hit a puddle of water out here right down below my house and she pretty much lost control of her car. So is it going to take a death or something before we get something done? Tony Patrick says he hopes not and he thinks he may have a solution. We need ditches out here to drain the water off. I, since my years of living out here, the ditches have faded away. I reached out to the county commissioner for the district to see if there were any plans to add ditches, but I'm still waiting to hear back. For now, with a lot of rain in this week's forecast, neighbors say they won't be making any big plans of their own. Just getting supplies so we can stay in the house. Reporting in Limestone County, Scotty K, Way 31 News. The Limestone County Sheriff's Office wants to remind drivers to avoid standing water on roadways. If it doesn't look, even if it doesn't look that deep, they say it's the best idea to just turn around.